What's going on YouTube? What's going on guys? Uh, those of you who know me, those of you who do not. By the way, it's really hot here in Coney Island, Brooklyn. Oh, man, it's like 90 degrees, so that's why I'm like sweating. So, I uh, just wanted to give a quick explanation of why I'm doing this video. You know, I'm not a personal trainer. I don't consider myself a fitness guru. I'm just a regular guy, you know. I've been one and off a uh, fitness enthusiast my whole life. I mean, I, I embrace healthy lifestyle. You know, but I also like to have fun in life as well. But in general, you know, I do believe, especially with age and when you have kids, it's important to stay healthy. It's important to stay active. And again, I don't want to tell you things that everybody else tells you, no point in that. I just wanted to quickly communicate the point of this video, which is to explain my workout regimen. Because um, there's a couple of friends of mine who've been inquiring, and I figured if they found it useful, maybe the rest of you might benefit or whoever is interested so quick background um i used to go to the gym that was the way I exercise right but then what happened is COVID hit approximately two years ago the gyms closed and uh, you know i wanted to explore another avenue so i got into calisthenics long story short after i got into calisthenics i never looked back i just realized that the way i feel mentally physically after calisthenics the way my body reacts to it the way your muscle retains, uh, your body retains, you know, the physique, it's just, gym is, gym, like, free weights cannot touch uh, working out with your own body weight. So a couple of things that were important to me is, with age, you know, um, I realized, I'm in my late 30s, with age I realized that your joints start to feel the impact of all the free weights especially if you're doing core exercises like squats deadlifts and bench because to me that's the cornerstone right you want to have the strong core so i was doing uh, i was benching i was squatting and i was deadlifting so especially after squats my knees you know i just felt you know the pain i don't want to say terrible pain but my knees were feeling it the joints were feeling it so what i did is i uh, transitioned over to calisthenics and the fairly simple workouts that worked for me and um you know number one is i just feel great right i don't feel any pain i feel good working out my own body weight also it's simple you know you can go anywhere and work out pretty much right like you go on vacation anywhere you don't need to look for a gym because most places you know they'll have some kind of a bar you know for anything you can always do push-ups and uh you know bring rubber bands with you to do you know let's say some kind of uh, exercise for buys tries um, so real quick my workouts what they do is I bike to my uh, workout destination which is usually a park or right now you know I'm working out on the beach I'll share the play the workout session in a minute but you know it takes me some time about 15 minutes uh, between 5 and 15 depending where I go to get to my uh, destination of choice to work out that's my cardio right I do like a couple of minutes worth of stretching and then I start working out uh, I usually do three to four different exercises um, during my workout right now I'm going to do three exercises so I work out four to five days per week around four uh, four to five I would say yeah to be fair sometimes take a break but what I'm gonna do today is I always alternate right so I'll give you all the exercises I do period and then I'll break them up I'll group them. so I always do wide grip push-ups right so wide grip push-ups what to do is to work your chest and your shoulders and your back primarily then I do close grip push-ups what they do is they mostly work your shoulders and your triceps primarily right a little bit of your chest too and then I do wide grip pull-ups right uh, they work primarily your shoulders and your back and then I do uh, chin-ups right that works your bias primarily then I do squats using the resistance bands and then I do reverse push-ups which is you know if you have a bar and you kind of pull yourself up right so that's the exercise I do now the way I do them right now uh, today's workout is gonna consist well to batch right just in general my whole workouts I do five sets per exercise so all the exercises are listed do five sets and then I do depending on the intensity I do you know various amounts of reps but that's for you to determine how many reps for me I do 8 to 20 you know if I'm doing push-ups I'm doing 20 reps a set if I'm doing you know chin-ups or some kind of push-ups or pull-up you know right that or squat that's from 8 to 14 again depending on the exercise today we're going to do wide grip push-ups right 
We're also going to do, to do uh, wide grip pull-ups, right? And we're gonna do dips, right? So, um, what do those exercises do? You know, it basically covers your entire upper body. You know, chest, shoulders, tries. Um, and uh, I also try to be efficient with my time. So instead of doing an exercise, then uh, transition to the next one, then transition to the last one. If there's two opposite muscle groups, I work them together. So what we're going to do, we're going to do wide grip push-ups simultaneously with wide grip pull-ups because they work, one works chest primarily, one works back, right? So they're two separate muscle groups. I'm gonna do them as my, um, as I'm resting from my push-ups, I'm going to be doing pull-ups and vice versa. So I'll knock those out together and then I'll do chin-ups. Uh, I'm sorry, then I'll do um, dips for my triceps. That's it, that's my workout for today. Um, tomorrow's workout, or next day's workout, this out. It's going to involve this and I explain it tomorrow or the next workout video, right? This is a resistance, event, right? So again, to maintain a good physique and work out, everything you need to work out, you don't need any equipment. You know, what I mean is you don't need any weights. And I always wondered how would I substitute squats, you know, because the rack, the weight, you know, it gives you that added weight you need to kind of like really work your legs. But then after discovering resistance bands and doing uh, squats with resistance bands, my legs are always sore. So the next time we'll be working out is going to be five sets of squats for your legs. Then there's going to be five sets of closed grip uh, push-ups, which is for your tricep. And then there's going to be five sets of chin-ups for your biceps. right? So three exercises. Again, I'm trying to do three exercises. Uh, three exercises per session because that keeps my workout about half an hour including you know the stretching and like I said for me it's about you know I'm not like competing you know I'm not trying to become a bodybuilder the way I feel is this if when I'm working out I feel great and after working out my body feels sore and I just feel like you know I had a good workout that's it you know uh, I, I'm actually one of those people who's against spending a lot of time in the gym because I think it fits the purpose because you know for me fitness or staying in shape is kind of supporting fuel for feeling good mentally and physically right just like food you know I, I, if I look as, at food mostly as a tool to feel good to look good and just to be functional right like the better your food intake is just the better you're gonna feel the better more energy you're gonna have so same thing that food combined with um, physical activity I mean, there's other elements like sleep as well, but in general, physical activity and food combined, that's gonna give you that energy and that mental strength and the physical strength to accomplish your goals in life, right? So therefore, you know, this is just a, like a component of the foundation that I'm kind of building as I live my life, right? Uh, so that's why I'm now one of those people who believes in going to the gym twice a day or hour and a half workouts. I think that's actually unnecessary. I think it's counterproductive, if you ask my opinion, you know, it just, there's really no purpose to it. It's kind of like meals, right? You know, it's recommended to eat small meals, but more often. Uh, same thing working out. I'd rather do quick, high intensity workouts, half an hour a day, five days a week. You know what I mean? Then spending one and a half, two hours at the gym, you know, for what? To overtrain? Uh, you know, there's been like no evidence proven that uh, spending an hour and a half at the gym actually gives you better results than a good 30 minute workout. I think the key is, is maintaining good form, eating right, but the key is good form, you know, and just when you go in, go hard, right? So we're about to do the workout that I just described. Um, next time we're gonna do another workout and the way basically I train is I switch, right? These two workouts. Now I also try to shock my muscles by doing something new and a lot of times if I go to a different playground which has different types of equipment I might shock my muscles by doing a different exercise so all right I will see you right now on the training floor all right guys this is the workout station the station why I mean look this is a dream my personal dream you know ocean fresh air these and the good workout station so let me just show a couple of things that I use in general. Right, right here. This is the bar that we use for pull-ups. Right, pull-ups to chin-ups. You can also use this as well for really like kind of like tight grip. Right. If I'm doing reverse push-ups, I'm using this. 
and then putting the legs in this bar and pushing myself up here. Dips, leveraging these bars right here to do the dips. So, these two bars, or these two bars, or it's the same thing. So, I'm doing here. If I'm going to do push ups, right, then I want to kind of hold by the bar because sometimes holding by the bar actually gives me like a pretty good um, grip. So, I can do the leverage these bars more. Um, yeah, I can use this for reverse. Reverse push ups. And if I want to just do some closer, I can use these bars as well. So, I can do some. Pull ups here, chin ups here, jump over to the next bar, up, 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 right? So kind of migrate from one bar to another, and again, it's just, again, this is just a shot for muscle, just to give me some more kind of things to do, right? So I can just kind of with different grips, right? So let's say here, if I'm holding arms like this, right, this actually works my back. But again, um, the more I'll be here, the more I'm trying to film, and I'm trying to, you know, different exercises for you guys, so you can see what I'm working on. All right. So enough talking, time for some action. Let's go. All right guys, so we're gonna start the workout. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do five sets of 20 wide grip push-up. That works my chest, that works my shoulders, a little bit of tries, right? Some back too, so it really touches your entire upper body, you know, chest in particular. And I'm going to do that in parallel with five sets of eight to 10 of wide grip pull-ups. So I'm doing wide grip push-ups and wide grip pull-ups. The pull-ups are gonna work my uh, shoulders and my lats, right? So I'm basically doing my entire upper body using this first two exercises. Now I'm gonna do them in parallel because again, um, it's still separate muscle groups, right? Primarily chest versus back, right? So I'm gonna do both of them in parallel. Why? To be efficient, to save time.
Alright, so I just did five sets. Two exercises each, right? Five sets of wide grip push-ups. So my chest right now, I'm feeling in my chest and my shoulders. Then I also did um, five sets of wide grip pull-ups. Again, that works your back, your shoulders. Um, as you can see, it's pretty intense because I'm doing it one parallel to the other. And I'll tell you the reason why I like it. Besides, um, you know, obviously maximizing my time, being efficient in my workout, because I did this in about 15 minutes, 10 minutes, I would have done it others in double the time. Also, this puts a lot more uh, positive stress on my body, right? I'm conditioning myself to be faster, to be stronger, right? And to just to go hard. Basically, to me, exercise and life is all about going hard, right? You just want to push yourself always and kind of just go hard. I feel like if you make an exercise comfortable for you, then, you know, that's not the point. The point is to get out of your comfort zone, right? If you are okay with doing 20, five sets of 20, then do five sets of 25. Right, but anyway, I'm sweating, it's like 90 degrees here. Um, you know, working out on the beach in fresh air is incredible, you know. This, can't, I can't even picture going back to the gym, not that I ever will. But anyway, we're done with this exercise. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do dips. Five sets of eight to 10. So that's next, let's go. And by the way, dips, what dips does, dips works strictly your triceps, right? So we worked out, you know, right now shoulders, we worked out uh, chest, shoulders, just arms in general, but now we're gonna focus strictly on triceps. And triceps, if I'm not mistaken, that's like 70% of your arm. So let's go. guys so we just did triceps five sets eight to ten reps each in 90 degrees feeling kind of exhausted anyway I'm gonna give you a quick recap right now of what we did today and what we're gonna do the next day all right guys so had a great workout I uh, hope you're gonna enjoy it and uh, please drop me any comments if you have any questions again I'm not saying I'm an expert I'm not certified I'm not a fitness guru, somebody who thinks they're in incredible sh uh, shape. I just wanted to share with you what I found purposeful, or what kind of like makes me feel good and works for me and hopefully it's gonna work for some of you guys. Again, next time we meet, I would like to go and do part two more workouts, something I do in alternate days, um, which I described to you earlier and uh, look forward to your feedback. Thank you.